This week in the Queendom, I focused on all kinds of things, including moths and ants. Here's a moth that's probably some sort of looper, pollinating the Mexican sunflowers. And this is a snowberry clear wing moth, Hemeris definis. And they're absolutely precious. They're fun to try to keep up with. They're harmless. They stay out of your way. And they make a low hum, like hummingbirds when they fly by your ear. You can also hear crickets and katydids in the background. There are tons of them too. And most of them are pretty small. Here it is out on the Vitex. I can see that um, I have some bindweed or morning glory growing up the Vitex. It's growing near the well cap. And there was weather on the way. There's a long tailed skipper with a flash. It's pretty colors. An Amanita mushroom about to bloom. And a water bear. <clears throat> Crazy old robber fly in my house today. Cleaning its antennas because we thought it was a wasp and sprayed it with some Flying insect killer. It's not very happy. So I'm going to take it outside. And you'll be all right. Tomatoes and balsam blooming. Coleus with a kudzu bug. And a silver spotted skipper. And that was a funny picture where the fiery skipper got after the clear wing. There's a swallowtail and another silver spotted skipper and a moth. Crocosmia, leaf leg bugs, and a dragonfly. A beetle, cranefly. Looper from the top and the balsam again, leaf footed bugs, amanitas again, and a tiny beetle, and a grasshopper in the treated grass, and there's a sulfur, and dinner, long tail. That one has both tails and a gnat under the microscope. Skink, crab spider and a fly. My Emily McKenzie crocosmia. And right in the middle, that's the biggest robber fly I've ever seen. It had a drop of water on the tip of its tail. This shield bug was eating my canna lilies, and a spider was stalking. I had to record this little predator-prey relationship going on on my uh, jewel weed. So I found a little assassin bug eating a sweat bee on my jewel weed. Right there, while cleaning out my water garden of mosquito larvae. There you go. I did a comprehensive study of four different kinds of ants in my big backyard and I learned that nodes are significant as are antennas. 
One species had teeny tiny little termites with it. At least that's what they look like to me. I found Lofi's two fawns on Saturday morning around 7 o'clock. And they dashed. I wished I'd have put on my recorder, but I got good pictures. Cucumber beetle in flight. Close up. And it rests. A neotephritis fruit fly up close. They're hard to catch. A leaf beetle further away, posing for me. Genus O U L E M A. And another beetle. Two grubs under a step that I moved. And a tiny caterpillar that I uncovered on another step. I found an ant identification chart at University of California. I just love these long-tailed skippers when they let me take their picture. That one's just about to leave a silver-spotted skipper with a fly. Here's a very well camouflaged Katie did, female I believe. A spider and a citrus flatted plant hopper. Bug Guide identified this as a white margined burrower bug. On another Vitex along with a plant hopper. There it is. And there's the spider up close. And there's the spider far away. On the four o'clock back near the outbuilding was an assassin bug. And then this cute little fly shows up with big eyes. Bug Guide determined it to be a tiny robber fly of the genus Holcocephala. The assassin bug sees it, turns around and heads that way. So guess what I did? The last predator-prey relationship I saw was a lynx spider on a Mexican sunflower way out hunting butterflies and bees before the weather got bad. Lastly, I created a bookshelf just for me.